Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to add cover art or box art to your ROMs in RetroArch. So you will need RetroArch installed for this video. So if you don't have it already, I will leave a link in the description for the video. But anyway, guys, the first thing you want to do is just scroll down, find Vita Shell, and just start it. Then press Select, connect your PS Vita to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so on your PC, I will leave a link to this thumbnail pack website in the description. It's actually hosted by the people that made RetroArch. But basically guys, this has every thumbnail pack for pretty much every game system you would ever want. So basically you just download the packs for the games that you have. So I have Game Boy Color, so all you do is just click it and it will begin downloading. As you can see, this has tons of thumbnails in, so the size is 123 megabytes. I've already downloaded it, just so you guys don't have to watch me download files. But once you've got all of your files, so you can get a Nintendo Game Boy, um, a Nintendo Game Boy Advance, um, you know, all of these, um, just head over to your downloads folder and you will be able to find all of the packs you downloaded in there. So the easiest thing to do is just right click and create a new folder and just call it thumbnails, all lowercase like that. And inside of the folder, I've just made these folders. So I've got Nintendo Game Boy Advance, Nintendo Game Boy Color, and basically you get these folders um, inside of these ones. That's exactly what they look like. Basically what you wanna do guys is just do this for each game. Go inside the folder. For my Game Boy Advance, I have Final Fantasy. So go inside of this folder go inside of named underscore box arts so you can choose box arts snaps or titles box arts is the best one so go inside of that now you need to find your game so what you want to do on the zip file is you actually want to right click it in a blank space and do sort by and make sure name is ticked i'm looking for final fantasy so i'm going to press f on my keyboard it's going to come up with all the f games i'm going to scroll down and this is the one i'm one i'm pretty sure it's this one i can check real quick uh, Game Boy Advance. Okay, so yeah, it's Final Fantasy V. So all I would do is just go back to my downloads, is just drag Final Fantasy V out to my downloads folder, then just copy this, go inside your thumbnails folder, go inside the Nintendo Game Boy Advance folder, and you'd paste it in there. As you can see, I've already got it. So yeah, do this for each pack. And let me just show you each folder I go in has its own thumbnail because I've only got one game for each of these systems so I got all the thumbnails for it and it's exactly the same with each one go inside of it go inside of it for this one I've got um, it was Mario Deluxe or something so S for Super Mario scroll down and you'll be able to find it there it is Super Mario Bros Deluxe so that is how you do it this is the easiest way saving you having to copy across all of these images and wasting a lot of space but once you have got it set up like this um, in the thumbnails pack all you want to do is just copy thumbnails, go onto your PS Vita, go inside the data folder, go inside the RetroArch folder, right click and paste. Then go inside the thumbnails folder and you'll be able to find all the folders in there. So that's it for the PC, now I'll show you guys how to enable the thumbnails. Right guys, so back on the PS Vita, you can just completely close out of Vita Shell as we no longer need it. Now what you want to do is just go and just find RetroArch and then just launch it. Right guys, so once you're on RetroArch, what you want to do is just scroll over to the settings tab, scroll all the way down and we are looking for user interface, just press circle to go into it. Press circle on appearance, then scroll all the way down again and you're looking for thumbnails. So make sure thumbnails is on the type of art you chose. You can press left or right to change it. Uh, the one I chose was box arts. So just make sure both of these are on box arts. Um, left thumbnails, you can actually turn that off. And this one right here, thumbnails vertical, you can turn that off as well. So once you've got one, this one on box arts, what you want to do is just press X a few times to go back. Now just scroll along until you get to your ROM section and here is Game Boy Advance. As you can see, the Final Fantasy box art appears. Then we've got our Game Boy Color, the Super Mario Bros. Deluxe art appears. And then we've got Super Nintendo. As you can see, the Chrono Trigger um, art appears. And then we've got Sonic the Hedgehog 2. 
So that is probably the easiest way to get working box art on your RetroArch emulator for the PS Vita. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.